Building a digital twin in Eris Innovator begins with an engineering part, which ensures traceability to the digital thread of information managed in PLM. Validation is critical, so the system doesn't let you use an unreleased engineering part in a physical parts bill of materials. And it enforces unique serial numbers for every part throughout your structure. In Eris Innovator, a digital twin is a bill of materials representing the physical configuration of this exact product in the field, including its mechanical, electrical, and software parts. So, just like an engineering bill of materials, it represents every level of the product that is serialized, including assemblies, subassemblies, and components. Eris Innovator allows for the addition and removal of serialized parts from the physical parts bill of materials, tracking new additions like upgrades and retrofits, along with replacement parts for quality and maintenance events. You just set the start and end dates, ending one serialized part and starting up its replacement upon install. Leveraging the digital twin means looking backward and forward in time at your design, using different views of the physical product in the field. Using a CAD view we call dynamic product navigation, you can look at the part history of this configuration. You can see what parts were removed and added right here in the tree structure alongside the corresponding CAD visualization. Dynamic product navigation supports several views into the digital twin information, including service information, performance data, and engineering data. Here, we can see a problem report logged against this work order, and we can navigate to it to learn more about it. Eris captures discussions engineers are having around this part right in the digital thread, here, in visual collaboration. Service captured an image of the environment. It looks hot to be sure, to help the quality team see what they think could have been causing this issue. Next, we'll use the same view of the digital twin to find the service bulletin issued against this part. It says, replace the part and log the problem report that we just saw. So using the digital twin for this unique product in the field, we've unearthed clues that could indicate an even bigger issue across all of our products. To learn more about the root cause, let's return to the engineering part and use the graph navigation view to look across all of the physical products that originated from this engineering part. This view represents all of the digital twins in the field that leverage the part. Here, you can see the customers. We can drill down further into each customer to see information like work orders and problem report history. Here, you can actually see that more than one product used in a hot operating environment experienced the same problem, which helps us identify the root cause and guides our engineering team to a solution.